Hey folks, James here with Randall Property Management and Improvement. It has been a little while since I uh, put a video up. I got reminded of that. Got a message from Jay's Crazy Cuts uh, asking where we were, asking if we were okay. They hadn't seen a video from us in a couple months, and I got to looking at it. It has been a couple months, so I do apologize for that. But I thought maybe I'd sit down and maybe talk to you a little bit about why we haven't posted anything. And we've been busy, basically. Um, well, that's not an excuse. So I figured, well, I'll explain some of the reasons why we've been busy, some of the things that we've done. You, you look at some of the Facebook groups and questions uh, that guys ask in the groups. They ask, how do you get business? Uh, you know, what do I do? I only have 10 lawns and, and things like that, which everyone struggles with when they're starting out. Uh, the biggest thing is don't turn down work go look at everything when someone calls you go look at it which leads me to this at the end of last season or towards the end of last season we got a call from our bookkeeper asking if we wanted to go uh, take a look at a lawn one of their clients the people quit mowing it hadn't mowed it in about two or three weeks so we said sure because we always go look and work we always go bid things doesn't mean that we get them, doesn't mean that we do them, but we always go and look at it and make contact with the potential client. As a matter of fact, uh, we did a video showing our first walk around of that, of that property. I'll put the link in the comments of this video so you can, so you can see it. But uh, basically we've been busy or busier. One of the reasons we've been busier this year is because of dog poop. Not, not that we're in the dog poop disposal business now or picking up dog poop, but because when we got to this lawn, there was dog poop there. And I really think the guys who were mowing it before quit mowing it because of it. They, they didn't want to deal with it, which is a, it's something, if you are in the lawn care business, you have to deal with it. Either you ask the client to clean it up before it's time for you to mow or you charge extra or however you deal with it everyone deals with it differently but we we don't turn it down because of dog poop at all um, if you're a business owner not only is owning a business full of excitement and very rewarding but you also wade through a lot of crap anyhow so mowing a lawn with dog poop is not that big of a deal um, it washes off Anyhow, we started mowing the lawn, and we've actually posted pictures uh, of this lawn on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, it looks good. It's a corner lot, looks sharp, and because we made it look good, and because we're dependable, we got referrals from these folks, and those referrals have led to other referrals, and have developed continuous clients all from a lawn that most likely someone quit mowing because of dog poop. So that is one reason. Um, don't turn things down just because it's shitty. You never know what's going to come from it. <clears throat> another, another reason we're busy, uh, we got a call from an older lady. And she said, uh, hey, do you mow lawns? Yeah, we mow lawns. Uh, I have 18 lawns that uh, I need you to take a look at. I uh, wonder if you're interested in mowing them. And this lady called me on my cell phone, which was kind of interesting because I don't give that number out. Anyhow, uh, another company who we're friends with and who... who uh, who we deal with and you know we talk back and forth um, gave him our num gave him my number <clears throat> so we went and spoke with them and the gentleman's an older gentleman and they had mowed together the husband and wife had mowed together and they were just getting too too it was too much for them to mow so they just gave us all the addresses and said here here you go and we said you're just gonna give them to us Yep. So we picked up about 18 accounts. Now, some of them are good accounts, and some of them, I don't know what's going to happen with them. 
Uh, but that gentleman did us a very solid deal. He basically just put money in our hands. Uh, should always go and check things out. Even if you're busy or you think you're too busy, if you're trying to grow your business, you should always check things out because you never know. Sometimes, maybe seven out of 10 times, eight out of 10 times, nine out of 10 times, it's duds, never works out. But when someone calls you and asks you if you want to do some work, if you want to mow some lawns, if you want to take a look at their lawns, go look at their lawn. Give them a price. They may not hire you. If they have some landscaping that needs done, some cleanup that needs done, go look at it. Give them a price. Doesn't mean that they're going to accept your price. But if you want to work, you got to go look at the work when people call you. Um, it's been a good year. We had worked our business for several years part time. Chad and I, my dad, our dad. Uh, last year, Chad decided that he wanted to go full time, and we made the the plan that I would go full time with him this year. Well, before the season even really kicked off, he was overwhelmed. So. I ended up going full-time last year and it was a building year for us um, even though we had worked our business part-time and we thought we knew about business every day we learned something new about business um, now instead of me going full-time this year I went full-time last year we actually hired a full-time employee we have several different part-time people that work with us, um, family members that work with us uh, on a part-time basis. So, I will tell you that stay motivated and stay focused and don't turn down work because don't, don't prejudge something without going and looking at it because you never know what it's going to be. Um, we never imagined, you know, that we would be ahead of our, our plan, our business plan like this. And so we're keeping driving forward. Now, I will start posting more. I apologize. I'll post more stuff, put more videos up. I'm not going to put videos up mowing every other time or whatever. I mean, there's some great guys out there that are putting mowing videos up, you know, showing their work, showing some great work. Uh, Blaine Dennison, uh, Doug Reich, uh, Richie Plemons, of course. You know, there's a lot of great guys out there. You want some good motivation, take a look at Brian Ring. Uh, just some really great, great stuff out there. People are posting. I think maybe... Uh, We'll just put stuff up about what we're doing and how our business is growing, if you're interested in that. And we'll, we'll throw some mowing stuff up too. Why not? Um, it's just been, I haven't, I have not blocked my time out correctly uh, this season. We've been busy and I have not scheduled my time the way that I should. Uh, it's not that there's not enough time to do videos, because there is enough time to do videos. You just make time for the things that you want to do, that you need to do. So uh, we'll be putting some more stuff out for sure. And uh, we will throw out some mowing videos because that's what we do, right? And maybe one day my editing will be as good as Blaine's. That guy can edit some videos pretty sharp. I like him. But anyhow... Just wanted to touch base with y'all. Um, and again, I apologize for it being so long since we posted a video. And uh, we'll get back on schedule. Thanks again for supporting us. Thanks again for subscribing to the channel. Uh, hope they didn't bore you too much uh, with this one. But 
I just wanted to get out there and touch base with you and get back in the swing of things. And, and I apologize for, for not putting out consistent content to you all. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. We appreciate it. Um, we're, we're getting close to 500 mark, which is pretty awesome. Appreciate that very much. And uh, we'll work on some putting out some good content for you. Uh, something a little interesting, hopefully. So until next time, peace.